All right, I got this in the mail like this today. Um, gave me a little bit of an idea because when I looked at this, I saw that the piece was missing from the end. Now what I have done is I've ordered a new leg to replace the leg that's broken on my folding table for my camper. Now as you can see they're similar but not exactly the same. What's happened with this one is that the end piece is broken. Well this was out of here and I'm not even sure if it'll go back in but what I'm thinking is I wonder if that will fit in there and maybe instead of replacing this with this I can fix this hmm I never would have thought of it if this hadn't been off of the other one All right. Easiest way to get this out is just take a little screwdriver and just pop it in. Just pop it out. You know, pop it, pop it. Um, kind of hard to put my camera down and show you, but that's what I'm going to do. That popped out pretty easy. Um, but as you can see, these are a little different. And, you know, these actually moved a little bit. Whereas this right here is pretty tight. It doesn't move. Um, but... That being said, this, because of where it is, I feel like I can put that on there without any real problem. It'll go between the holes that are already there. I'll fill those holes in, and then this can go in like that. Um, and I'm going to maybe put some Vaseline or something on there. We'll see. Hmm. I won't need to lubricate this because this goes right in and it's not totally tight and it wasn't totally tight on that one either so these I'm going to imagine this stays still and this moves I think this is going to work this was um this leg was like ten dollars <laughs> it was thirteen dollars to um ship it so it's 23 bucks. I would rather have this one than the other one. So I'm going to see if it works. thought it would be wise to go ahead and take a magic marker and just mark around here. These little dots here are where that kind of fits. The um, leg that comes with the Coleman has a little thing in the middle that you can just pop this little piece off and um, put the centerpiece, which is the same thing as this here. Uh, the Coleman, I think, is a better design, and I think it's also a better quality. That's another reason I'm trying to... Um, get back to that one. So I'm going to pop that off. And I just took the screwdriver and popped off that little piece right there. I am seeing that there's a little bit of a problem um, because when I put this up against here on both sides it's off a little bit. So I'm going to put it together and make sure that all my little ducks are in a row. Right, I've taken off the, uh, the little things right there. And I'm going to get my little scraper and scrape that off. Hmm. Alright, I moved this over to the table. I have lined everything up and I found that it lines up to the bottom one not the top one I've got my drill and my bits 
I'm going to drill some starter holes and I'm going to put this sucker on there. Then I'm going to see if it stands up. If it stands up, I'm going to take these apart and um, I'm going to put some hot glue on it because they had that, um, that really sticky stuff which I'm assuming helped to keep it from um, uh, coming out of the bottom of the table. I can't ruin it. It's already broken. So I either fix it or I don't. Before I put the all the holes in, before I you know, screw in all the little screws, I decided to see if it would work. And it does. Well. And the way it is, two of the holes line up perfect with the holes that were already there. Hmm. It's amazing what you find out while you're doing stuff. This hole was off a little bit. That could be a problem. But this hole lined up perfect. Hmm. I'm going to put some hot glue on there. And then I'm going to glue it, I mean, uh, screw it the rest of the way in. We'll see how it works. Not sure that the, if I had known what I know now, I think I would just get a sticky gasket. But you know, I'm 45 minutes to an hour away from any place, so I'm going to work with what I have. Okay, here it is. All right, this is it. I have put it on there. And, um, seems to be working. We'll see. I'm going to stand it up. You know, of course, the only way it's really going to know for sure if it's working is when I use it. But, you know, it costs 23 bucks to replace <laughs> these two little things here. Now, I would much rather have had the original stuff, but if this works, it works. And it's not like I want to be taking it up and down and up and down and up and down. I just need to be able to set it up when I'm where I'm at. Let's see how it looks uh, standing up. There it is. Standing up. Yeah. Now I've got a piece of metal. I am sure that there are people out there that know where to get this stuff that need to fix this a lot cheaper than I did. Um, but I went online and looked everywhere I could and the only thing I could find was that leg. And I wasn't satisfied with it, but it was the only thing I wanted to fix this. Um, you know, it's a, it's a good thing to have. I mean, it's nice to be able to take it out of the camper and, you know, put it out along the the deck or wherever you're going to be um, or you know you know it's just nice to be able to move it around um, but you know if it wasn't working it wasn't working so I fixed it ta-da